Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's that M1 shit. I touched his balls. <laughs> What do they say in Texas? I'm in you. <laughs> Heard it's Yeehaw 20, 2022 uh, tour. And so, you know, the PR has been calling, not personal record, public relations, uh, New York bestseller, Times, the Washington CNN, NB Post. All these people have been calling and they say, Mike, it's time to go back on tour. You haven't been on tour since 2019. I said, all right. Yeehaw Tour 2022. We'll see you in Yexus. I don't know, man. This place is pretty dope. We're at a game day barbell, Austin, Texas, with the homies. Too many homies to name, but Joe and Nico, get a little training session in. Stop one. This was priority stop one um, on the Texas Yeehaw 2022 tour. So, um, I gotta get my squats in. Sleep's a little weird. We went and saw Joe Rogan last night. Uh, it was cool. Uh, a bunch of really cool comedians, man. David Lucas and all these guys. Shout out to them. Great show. Great meeting them. Having a good time. Obviously, we couldn't film some of that. It's their, you know, IP. And then the kids. All these motherfuckers were up all night. Luckily, my room's in the backyard, so I got to go get quiet. But I still went to bed at like two, which is pretty late for me. Um, even with the time change, so it was midnight at home. Uh, but we're in it. So we're gonna turn the music up. I'm gonna loosen up my back a little bit. We got some heavy squats. So they got like 405 for a bunch of tempo work. Coach Joe hopefully yell at me and look at me and say I suck. And then, uh, and then we'll see what the day takes us. Come on, Mikey. I gotta impress all my strong friends. Don't embarrass us. Look cool, look cool, look cool. Look cool, look cool, come on. Where's the ammonia? Yeah. You mean, y'all got chalk? I power lift. Walking around with kind of my rib cage position, and then today uh, we went no heels because I'm lazy to travel. But more importantly, he wanted me to get my hips a little bit more. Lead the way. Yeah. So the the rib cage position looks a little bit better, right? You're a little bit more crunched down on the abs, but I can tell as you're coming out of the hole, you're still wanting to like raise your chest instead of letting your hips kind of come forward and bring your chest up naturally. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and which, to be fair, is a natural reaction. Right? Yeah, yeah. We, got, we got weight on our back. We don't want it to like yeah, roll, or... roll or anything like that. I want you to do your best on the lighter sets to kind of fight that, right? Because ultimately what that's going to allow you to do is stay in your legs a little bit more. And when things get heavier, you're going to be able to push that much yeah, harder. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. So yeah, think a little more leg pressy. Yeah. Think a little bit more, keep my torso angle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think, like if you have to be like kinesthetically aware of something yeah be thinking more about your legs yeah, yeah, yeah. more than anything yeah, else yeah. because if you think about just where your your quads are in space you're gonna be more likely to actually be focused on pushing with them than worrying about like lifting your yeah, yeah, yeah. that's I think, why I think like leg pressing yeah yeah exactly yeah, yeah. which I, I think a lot of people like make that mistake like they're thinking more like oh shit the weights on my back I gotta think yeah. about for sure right yeah for sure the only reason I came to Austin little miso that's a good boy miso that's why you brought the big old luggage, right? Yeah, bringing him home. <laughs> She's coming home. Oh, you want to come home with us? I'll feed you the good food, Misho. Yeah, you like that, Gamino? Yeah, yeah. You want to come home with us? Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy, Misho. Big skinny boy. We're gonna put you on the bulk. <laughs> Welcome up. You're skinny like your daddy. <laughs> Yay, the butt scratch. <laughs> good boy. Really good. Uh, 
Sometimes the energy, new environment gets me a little fired up. Fucking cameras everywhere, that makes me stronger for some reason. Like kryptonite makes Superman weaker, cameras make me stronger. The weather helps my joints a lot. It's a little wet, it's a little wet. So like pre-lubed knees, uh, feel good. I'm a little sweaty obviously, but feel pretty good. I'm gonna try to get some cardio on before we leave. I know we'll walk today, but I got a little crazy two weeks before I left, so. Um, yeah, I just wanna, I wanna like figure it out a little bit. When you travel, you're not eating good. Around yeah, Austin? yeah, we'll check out Austin a little bit. So show you guys the sights a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think the whole crew, we're probably rolling 20 deep, so we'll see. Yes or no? I said depth too. If bro. you're at a spot like this, I love cafes, Plants, by the dude. way. I love gas Plants. stations, I love uh, uh, cafes. If if everyone's getting breakfast, do you fuck the vibe by going elsewhere? Are we? I'm asking a question. I'm not allowed to ask questions to the to the fam. That's not a stupid question. That's a very valid question because all life is is vibrations, and you guys will learn that when you start to grow up. Life is just vibrations. Your thoughts are vibrations. Our energy is vibrations. Food is vibrations. And so I'm wondering if everyone's getting breakfast. I'm going omelet. I got some hot coffee. If my dude goes with I'm like, about a, to get a if he goes with a root, over. if he goes with a root beer float and a hot dog, does that ruin the vibe? Wait, 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 wait. wait. He was saying he wanted a quesadilla, not a hot dog. I'm just saying <laughs> hypothetical. They're, we're just asking questions. We're not. There's nothing based in reality. Everyone's right. getting offended here. I'm just talking about hypotheticals. If I'm getting breakfast. And sourdough, which for some reason all of Bro. a sudden became Captain Crunch and ruins your dude. mouth, which it isn't. It's sourdough bread. Sourdough is an L tier fucking bread. You're dude. kidding oh, you're me. Tripping. You That's like S tier. That's the best bread. It literally hurts my mouth. It hurts the roof of my mouth. What do you eat, dude? Wait, wait. You put what ice cubes on it, what idiot. What kind of bread, <laughs> bread do you like? You want some huh? soft ass bread? I like potato bread. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. I mean, all that's fine I'm too. I'm kidding. Bread is great, bro. Potato bread is not great. I don't discriminate. But sourdough is the best. Sourdough is not sourdough the best. Sourdough is the best. Sourdough sourdough is the best. Sourdough. We should have an easy tiger. Like Dude, that's that's all they I have like here, bro. That's the only What's option that? I have easy in Austin, tiger? bro. It's like, it's like a bakery. Literally, it's, it's the only thing they have here, bro. It's a very very. Uh, uh so like, I don't even know what Magnolia. Yeah. Like, is that a like film company? Production company. Pastries. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go with Tim. It's a Magnolia. color, bro. It's a color. Magnolia? I don't think so. Magenta, maybe. It's a Playboy party album. Is it? Facts, facts, bro. Facts. Um, I'm getting an omelet, bro. We're getting jacked. Hey, whenever I feel jacked, people around me, I feel like I get an extra jack. So JP, me and JP, yeah, not here, but JP and I lock eyes a lot, and I'm like, I'm about to What does like a kind of strong, but not crazy strong, but not weak guy eat? So, um, I'm trying out the sourdough because you guys fucking keep talking about it. See if it hurts my mouth again, but. There's no way bread of like sourdough hits your. Yeah, true, oh, no, no. true. The oh, other breads you don't. see these lips? Dude, oof. Other know, breads I... hit your face the same. Bro, it hits, it hits the roof of my mouth, it's kind of different, bro. But honestly, I, I got uh, five eggs with like cheese, salsa. <laughs> More queso on top, bro. Yo, I, I don't you know. You got extra just, queso now? Yeah, no, this, this is all you know, really huh? it. Cheers, so. no, Happy to have yeah, you guys bro. here. Yeah, happy to have you guys here, like in Austin, my home. So, thank you. I think I really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you for having us. So, he said I can't lose weight when we go to like Houston stuff, but I think we can. Not that I'm gaining weight. We're steady 10 pounds up from the cut. We want to literally inject butter into everything. Yeah, but I'll just eat like meat and stuff. And we only eat two big meals a day. So, we got a little fruit, a little omelet, extra ham, sourdough toast, because it is by far. The best bread, S tier bread. So you ask the same oh, thing. Garlic bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that don't count because you're adding shit. That's like saying like pizza's the best bread. Well, like, yeah, that don't count. We're talking like if you just throw bread, just bread. in a hot thing. You know what I mean? That you gotta bake and you throw cheese and you throw garlic and you throw butter. Yeah, that's the best. You but you like dressed that? it up. So I know that it was a big yeah. I know that was a really you're, large concept. You're, ins <laughs> you're insulting my ex-girlfriend's ancestors right here. I don't know what that means. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. You wanna talk about that? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that means. Hey. What? You, you just add garlic and then a little well, you bit of butter. Garlic bread yeah, but then you gotta like cook it and shit. We're just talking about the bread itself. Yeah, you could do, yeah, garlic bread isn't a type no, it's of bread. Infused. It's not just added on, it's infused. I know, but you could do it to sourdough, you could do it to rye. Obviously, they do it to a baguette. How about naked bread? Wait, what, is your girlfriend Italian? ex girlfriend. Okay, is your ex-girlfriend Italian? He's Italian. Yeah, what do you think this fucking nose is doing, bro? I think I know about fucking... 
garlic bread. <laughs> yeah, dude, stay in your lane. Yeah, fucking no. My last name is goddamn Faranachi. Yeah. You know, I don't know your last name. Your first name is Silent. <laughs> oh my god, be quiet, Silent. Mike, don't talk. Oh my god, that's so funny. I've never heard that. Check people's fits. That's who's got the pickup of the day. I think I'll be live. What you do? Abby, what'd you get? We're gonna vote the pickup of the day. Oh, okay, okay. Yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh no, mine is not mine I don't think mine is top Am I going after Abby? Yeah, you're gonna go. You have to prepare thyself. Yeah. Brunette? Sorry. Okay. I just like the color green on one. No, it's like cool. It's kind of classy. And then it's like yeah, it's got, got a, kind of like a grandma it's vibe embroidered. in the best way. Yeah. And no, in the best way. In the cozy way. No, it's good. Collar's nice and thick. Good color yeah. green. It's a high neck -ish. No, it's clean. Mm -hmm. I like that green too. Kind of like a foresty. Yeah, I've been wanting a forest green. Yeah. It goes with a lot. Like you can wear those pants. Right? Yeah, it goes with a lot. Crew necks. Crew necks are dope. Yeah, that's it. That's sneakers. You're on the spotlight. You gotta choose one though. You got a couple things. I can only you choose one. You gotta choose one. one piece that's the hitter of the day. Okay, it's gotta be this one. Oh. Dude, he put it on. It is Bro. really good. This is definitely the hit of the day. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Twelve ninety nine a no. pound. Bro. And the steel. And it's a steel. Old school Wrangler. Got that New Mexico print on there. Yeah. I'm very happy. No, he, <laughs> he tried it on in the I'm other spot. Happy. It is good. It's good. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, what's up? It's your boy, <laughs> Kenny Jeff. Hey, we out here. We thrifty. <laughs> pick of the day. What's the pick of the day? You get one item. Show him. Huh? You get to choose right, one hey, item. Pick of the day. Shut up. Look at this Look at this shit. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> That's his power. Play right? with my heart. How much, is it? How much was it? Oh. <laughs> no, it's good though. Damn. Yeah. yeah. No, it's worth it. Yeah, I've never seen that graphic. Yeah, it's sick. It's, it's sick. sick. Yeah. <laughs> Deep with us, Justin nine plus the game day boys. His girl. Justin's yeah, plus girl. Justin's lady, plus Bart's meeting us like in a couple days. So we're trying to organize what the hell's going on in the Yeehaw 2022 tour. Today was chaos, but fun chaos, nonstop. A little thrifting, a little bit of food, a little bit of Texas vibe, a little rooftop bar, all good. And then tomorrow, it's like a coin flip. You know, we stay here, spend some time, or we just head straight to Houston. And so um, I think it's H Town. You know, slum the powwow shit. So I think we're going straight there. Uh, I think we're going to wake up early, which, shout out my boy JP, early means noon. <laughs> <laughs> Dude's on demon hours. Yeah, demon fucking hours in this place. No one, I don't know. They they keep saying like, Mike, you're not old. Like, bitch, I wake up at like normal hours. Y'all in some demon time. I You make me feel older, you know? It's like they, they're all going to bed at 4 a.m., waking up at noon. Mikey's trying to be in bed three hours ago. I didn't wake up at noon. No, you did pretty good. Yeah. But that was my alarm, too. You're yeah. stuck in rooming with me, so you're no, fucked. No, I didn't even hear that. Oh, really? You yeah, just kind of woke? woke. Yeah, so I, woke I think we're hitting road 10-ish, 11-ish? I mean, we got to be out of here by 11. Yeah, probably 11-ish. Yeah, because checkout is locked in All right, so we'll go real slow. Time to wake up. We're going to go 11, basically. Yeah. And then, uh, and then we're going to find a gym, and we're going to see what the legs say. I don't know if you guys talk to yourself. I don't talk to myself like a crazy old lady or talk to my cats, but I talk to my legs. He knew the vlog was on and he just hey. ripped his fucking shirt off. Is it He just, he's like, this fucking vlog. What's going on? Hold on, what's that? What's that? Yeah, he's all like, I'm still like, bro, why is this static? I don't know, I got. Why are you breathing so heavy? 50 push ups? He's doing it. I'm hanging out with push-ups in the, uh, the bathroom. Yeah. You know, fuck, dude. I turn on the, the, the hot shower. He's fucking yeah. stealing all our subscribers, this son of a bitch. <laughs> but, yeah, you guys want... I can't... You guys want vitamins? Can we? <laughs> Good thing you didn't come up with all my like, syringes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, then we gotta train. 
I gotta, I gotta see if my legs. We gotta talk to him. You know, like, hey, little buddy, how, how are we feeling today? Can we pull 585 for five, or do you need a little sleepy break? And then we'll find a gym or not. We'll see him tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. So excited. It's so cool, bro. <laughs> like one, it's cool to see like, like real friends I've known for. I mean, I know Bart and them for ten years. I've probably known Guzman for ten years. He was like a teenager, bro. We probably we probably met at the Olympia when he was like twenty years old. And he's just all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and now dude built an empire. You know, like I, everyone talks about it. It's easy to talk about on the camera, but. The homies can rep for me that I say it off camera too. I, I like to see my, my, my friends succeed and to see Guzman t do what he does and like so analytical and so hardworking and continue to push the bounds of what fitness looks like. This isn't fitness, bro. This is like some new shit. I've been in fitness a long time. It's some new shit. He's on his own thing. So um, it's kind of a little surreal to be here. Not because of the social media stuff, but it's because I, I know the dude that built it and I knew where he came from. I saw him open his first gym. He opened his first gym open after I opened my first gym. It was the same style. He was grabbing shit off Craigslist and we had a little shack. And I was watching Guzman's vlog, he was doing the same thing, we're talking to each other. And now, literally, we're in Disneyland, so. Um, not much training today. I'm gonna do some upper body, but we're, we're just gonna explore Alpha Land, man. So welcome to the video, Alpha Land, Houston, Texas. Shout out to Guzman, man, boys killing it. So, I think the team's eating. I'm gonna get some caffeine in me. It's still, it's not early, but it's early. And uh, we'll take you around the gym. I'm here to play, man. I'm having a good time. This place is insane. So I'm just here to have a good time, man. But I'm proud, but never satisfied that I'm about to whoop Bart's, Bart's ass humbly. Proud, but never satisfied. To whoop your ass humbly, dominating your butthole. <laughs> look at that, look at that. Oh, that look good. Bitch, fucking shit, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, he starts to fuck with you, bro. Bro, he snatched my game right out of my hands. He got jealous. He was a bodybuilder that he was going to do more than one rep. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I want you to do 12 to 15. I'm so sorry. It's all right, it's all right. My program is only lower body, so we can just have fun today. I just don't care. So we bench 335. It's actually kind of slow compared to 315, but I don't really chain bench right now, so yeah, I'm chilling. Maybe a little snack in a second. We got a little place here, but a little water, stay hydrated. I think today's low key. I think we're, we're hanging out here for the most of the day and then probably finding food. I think Bart leaves. The rest of the crew's here. So we're just chilling, man. Taking in the sights, playing a little football. I mean, this kind of stuff's why I like, like the gym and why I like what's going on. You know, you just hang out with the boys, left a little bit. It's cool to be competitive, and everything we preach here is still true. Have a goal, build a plan, set yourself up for success, hit that goal, build a new plan, build a new goal, but it's also fun just to like, be part of the culture, man, yeah. you know? Show them a little song, show them a little song. Oh, oh, oh. Old school oh. shit, I'll give them that old school shit. You want that old school shit? Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> That's that man one shit. I touched his balls. <laughs> his real balls. <laughs> grab the whole glizzy. He got to grab the whole glizzy on the move. That's the only way to guard me. He took me down by the fucking anaconda, bro. That's the only way he could guard me. Maybe not my best workout ever, um, but Alpha Land's dope, man. Cool to see a lot of the friends here too. Just randomly training Duhans over there and all the crew. 
uh, hanging out with the boys again. That's kind of why I stay in this thing. That's why I use the barbell as a microphone to talk to y'all and share my journeys. Uh, the culture of the people, the culture in the community. So fun having uh, a good time with the friends, playing a little bit of basketball. Get my heart rate up a little bit. We got to squat heavy tomorrow. But um, I think that's it for us. We're going to go grab food and chill for the day. I'll catch you on the vlog. So new video every Monday, Thursday. Big squat day. I think we're heading to Corrupted tomorrow, man. We over me. Be a part of something bigger yourself. Sound like Mike. I'm out.